Hello, my name is uh, Dr. Wally Jury, and I'm here to talk to you about the training course run by Aztec with the title Pipeline Operation and Maintenance. It's quite an intensive course running over five days. The course starts with a general uh, introduction uh, and review of the piping industry, what pipes are used for, mainly in this case uh, in the oil and uh, gas industry, but there are many other applications uh, for pipes. It then goes into uh, a very important uh, consideration, which is fitness for service. Fitness for service basically is about whether or not this particular uh, component or system, in this case a pipe, is fit for what it is intended to do. Uh, and therefore, we look at the various failure mechanisms in this case. It could be fracture, so we will look at fracture mechanics. Uh, we would look at high temperature applications. For example, you can have pipes running with a hot process fluid that would lead to a very important uh, failure mechanism, which is called creep. We would look at that. We would then look at uh, problems related, for example, to the vibration of pipes. And that could lead to yet another uh, type of failure mechanism, which is called fatigue. So we'll look at uh, metal fatigue uh, characteristics. So we would then cover that uh, quite intensively, and then we would go to uh, additional aspects of the uh, pipe uh, failures, including uh, corrosion. So that's going to be a big topic, uh, talking about the different types of corrosion related to the uh, pipeline industry. Uh, as an example, we could look at stress corrosion cracking. Uh, we could also look at erosion corrosion, which again, a lot of pipes can be subjected to. We would also look at ways and means of uh, controlling uh, these failures, things like uh, cathodic protection. We can apply lining to the, uh, to the pipes. We can use inhibitors. So we will look at all these aspects uh, of mitigating the effect of, uh, of corrosion. Uh, we would then look uh, at the fluid laws, uh, because obviously the pipes is going to be carrying uh, liquids is going to also be carrying gases. So we need to look at the various regimes that these fluids will be subjected to, things like lamellar flow or turbulent flow, and see the effect uh, that it has on the design of, uh, of the pipes. Um, after we've uh, done that, we go to the pipe components. In this case, we're talking about uh, Typical items found in the, uh, along the pipeline, including the types of flanges, the types of gaskets that we uh, use, the bolting arrangement, the supports. Uh, and again, going on from the supports, we can then talk about yet another important aspect of the pipeline design, which is the thermal expansion. So we look at the effect of temperature with expanding uh, the pipes and look at ways and means of, uh, of, again, dealing with it. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of problems, you know, pipes bursting, flanges, uh, again, uh, deteriorating. So we'll look at, uh, again, aspects, uh, aspects of that. We then look at uh, things like maintenance or, or, or inspection. We start off with uh, non-destructive testing, look at ways and means of detecting uh, the problems associated with, with pipes, for example, loss of thickness, uh, crack flow detection, uh, uh, crack detection, uh, and then we will look at pigging operation, it, in which uh, we can then use intelligent pigs in order to ascertain the level of, uh, of damage, and then we can uh, deal with the various problems that, uh, that we find. And uh, we will then spend uh, some time talking about the equipment um, associated with, uh, with pipes and pipelines. So we could uh, include things like the various types of valves that you find uh, within a pipeline system. We can look at uh, pumps. Uh, we will also very briefly talk about uh, compressors. And we will also talk about things like flow meters, uh, lever measurements, uh, just to round up the course and give the actual delegates a very, very good uh, view related to all aspects of pipes from the operation, to the way pipes fail, to the damage, to the mechanical equipment. And thank you very much.